Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at unit rate. We're going to answer the question, what is unit rate and how can I use unit rate to solve problems? So unit rate is the rate for one of something. You can think of it as the amount per one. The ratio for the unit rate will always simplify to have a denominator of one. So basically we will just divide whatever the ratio is to determine the unit rate. So number one says find the unit rate of Emily reading 188 pages in four hours. So we could think of this as 188 over four and I need to figure out how much it is for one hour. So I would have to do four divided by four to get to one. So that's why I'm going to do 188 divided by four to figure out how much it is for one of something. So 188 divided by four, four can go into 18 four times, four times four is 16. We'll subtract to bring down the eight. Four can go into 28 seven times. 4 times 7 is 28. I subtract and I'm done. So that means that Emily can read 47 pages for one hour. So that would be the unit rate. Okay, let's look at number two. It says potatoes are on sale for $6 for 8 pounds. And I want to find the unit rate, so I'm going to figure out how much money it is for one pound. So eight divided by eight would get me one pound. So I'm gonna have to do six divided by eight to figure out how much it is for one pound. So six divided by eight, I'm gonna have to make a decimal. Eight can go into 60 seven times because seven times eight is 56. Subtract, we get four, bring down another zero, and eight can go into 40 five times. So that means it would be 75 cents for one pound of potatoes. Okay, let's look at number three. A car goes 300 miles on 12 gallons of gasoline. Find the unit rate. So it can go 300 gallons. Sorry, it can go 300 miles in 12 gallons. And I want to know how many miles it can go in one gallon for the unit rate. So I would do 12 divided by 12 to get one. So I'm gonna to have to do 300 divided by 12 to figure out how much it can go on one gallon. So 300 divided by 12, 12 can go into 32 times, 12 times two is 24, bring down the zero. 12 can go into 65 times and five times 12 is 60 and I'm done. So that means that it can go 25 miles in one gallon. So there's the unit rate. Okay, let's look at number four. An LED light flashes 240 times in two minutes. How many times does the LED flash in one second? So we need to be careful here because they gave us some information in minutes, but the question is asking for the rate in seconds. So I'm going to rewrite this 240 times in two minutes as 240 times in 120 seconds because there's 120 seconds in two minutes. So let's set up this proportion 240 times in 120 seconds. And I want to know how much, how many times it would go in one second. So I would need to do 240 divided by 120 to determine that, and 240 divided by 120 is two. So it is flashing two times every second. Okay, let's look at number five. Mrs. Barker uses 8.4 cups of sugar to make seven dozen cookies. 
what is the rate of cups of sugar per cookie? So again, we need to be really careful with the information that they gave us. They said seven dozen cookies, and then they want the rate of cups of sugar per one cookie. So I'm going to change 8.4 cups of sugar to make seven dozen cookies to 8.4 cups per seven times 12 is 84 cookies. Instead of seven dozen, I'm saying 84. So now it's easier to find the unit rate of one cookie. So it is 8.4 cups over 84 cookies. And I wanna figure out how many cups it is for just one cookie. So I would need to do divided by 84 to get to one. So I'm gonna to have to do 8.4 divided by 84. I'll put my decimal up here and one times 84 is 84, subtract and we're done. So it would be 0.1 or a 10th of a cup per one cookie. Okay, let's look at number six. AT&T offers a monthly plan of $15 for 300 megabytes of internet data. Verizon offers a monthly plan of $20 for 500 megabytes of internet data. Which company offers the better plan per megabytes of internet data? So we are going to compare AT&T, which is $15 for 300 megabytes of data to Verizon. And Verizon is $20 for 500 megabytes of data. So to figure out how much it would be for one, I would divide by 300 for AT&T. So I'm gonna do 15 divided by 300 to figure out how much it would be. And I'm gonna have to add a few zeros here. Okay, so 300 can go into 1500 five times and five times 300 is 1500. So I just need to fix the decimal and the zero here. Okay, so it looks like AT&T, their unit rate is five cents per megabyte. So now let's divide by 500 to figure out how much Verizon's unit rate is for one megabyte of data. So for Verizon, I would do 500 into 20, and I'm gonna have to add a couple of zeros. Okay, so 500 could go into 2,000 four times, and four times 500 is 2,000. So Verizon, it looks like they have the lower unit rate of four cents per megabyte of data. So that would be Verizon with the lowest unit rate. All right, let's look at number seven. Mr. Teal wants to purchase new markers for his classroom. He compares prices at four different stores. Which store sells markers for the lowest price per marker? So I want to figure out the unit rate or how much one marker is for each of these stores. So store A is $10 for 250. So 250 is how much it costs for 10 markers. So I would do 250 divided by 10 to figure out the cost for one, which means I just move the decimal over. So it would be 25 cents per marker. That would be the unit rate for store A. Okay, store B is 20 for $4. So it's $4 for 20 markers. I'm going to divide down here to figure that out. 20 can go into 40, two times, two times 20 is 40, subtract we get zero. So it looks like it is 20 cents at store B. So, so far store B is looking like the cheapest. Okay, let's look at store C. Store C is 15 
markers for $5. So I would do $5 divided by 15 to figure out the cost for one marker at store C. So 15 can go into 50, three times, three times 15 is 45. We would subtract, get five, bring down the zero. 15 can go into 50 three times. Three times 15 is 45. We would subtract and get five. So it looks like we're gonna repeat the process. So it's about 33 cents at store C for a marker. All right, let's look at our last store, store D. At store D, it is $46. So I spend $6 and I get 40 markers. So let's find the unit rate for that by doing $6 divided by the 40 markers. 40 can go into 60 one time. One times 40 is 40. We're going to subtract and I get 20 and then I'll bring down this other zero. 40 can go into 205 times and five times 40 is 200. I subtract and there's no remainder. So at store D, it would be 15 cents per marker, which makes store D the lowest price per marker.